Five on how that para athletics discus. Now to the first of two blistering finals over 100 meters. It is indeed time for the uh, fast fellas. The men's 100 meters out of Bolden. 1998, 24 years ago, Bolden uh, from Trinidad and Tobago set the game's record 9.88. There's the lineup: Azamasi of Ghana, Abikun of Sri Lanka, Ominyala of Kenya, right up alongside Akani Simbino of South Africa. That's a big clash, three and four. Mitchell Blake of England goes in six, 200 specialist. Jeremiah Azu of Wales goes in seven, and Rohan Browning goes in lane eight for Australia. Azu, by far the youngest in the field at just 21, but everything to run for and a fast starter. Take a look at these fellas as they are led out onto the track. The stadium packed, hardly a seat to be had. There is the Ghanaian, Benjamin Azamati. Fifth of the World Championship to the former 100 metres relay. 10.18 for third in his semi-final. Got through here as a non-automatic qualifier, but it's a reset. Everything to go for from lane one. Yupun Abikun goes in lane two. The Sri Lankan is 27. Fourth in his semi-final, 10.20 again. Just behind as Amati, he too got through as a non-automatic qualifier. Ferdinand Omenyala, well, a semi-finalist at the World Championships, but surely he should have been a finalist in Kenya. He was uh, denied a visa until the 11th hour, and he arrived in Eugene so late he couldn't do himself justice. But he is a supremely fast and uh, perfectly capable here take the title, as is this man, mind you, Akali Cipino of South Africa won his semi-final in 10.07, well, Omenyala's was 10.02, fourth in the Olympic Games last year, and in actual fact, uh, Cipino, well, what a tough time he's had, has been fifth, fourth and fifth in the last three world championships, Emmanuel Asemi of Cameroon will be in lane five, second in his semi-final in 10.14. He was second recently in the African Championships. He's a bit of a 200 specialist. That was in Mauritius back in June. But Fed has set a personal best and a national record in his heat yesterday. Brilliant from the semi. It was at 10.08. Huge roar for Nathaniel Mitchell Blake, the only Englishman in this final. He goes in lane six. He too is a 200 specialist. Won his semi-final in 10.13. He'll need to go quicker here. And he will finish fast, you can be sure of that. Jeremiah Azu of coming. Well, the Cardiff AC man, coached by Helen Patricia James and Gareth Walton, is the UK champion in Manchester from a couple of months back, but he wasn't selected for the European for the World Championships. He hadn't got the qualifying time. And Rowan Browning, Australia, completes the lineup. The 24-year-old law student was second in his semi-final, 10.17. Went out in his heat of the World Championships. Well, he's given a much better account of himself here. As these men focus on your mark. Absolutely completely. <gasps> Hearing the starter's orders. Don't want any noises. Clicking of cameras sometimes is a problem, but they are cool huh? to their blocks. As Amati of Ghana on the far side in one. Abe Kuhn of Sri Lanka in two in the blue near the top. Aminiala of Kenya in those uh, fabulous Kenyan colours. He goes in three. Simbine, the defending champion, goes in lane four for South Africa. In five, Emmanuel Esseme of Cameroon. In six, Mitchell Blake of England. In seven, Wales is Azu. And Rohan Browning of Australia, nearest the camera. Third. Good start there for Mignano. He's got the jump on Simbine at the moment. Mignano's going away with this one. He will not be caught. This is justice for the man who couldn't do himself justice in Eugene. He takes the goal. Kenya, 10-0-2, it's a slight headwind, minus 0.9, but daylight between Ferdinand Dominiala of Kenya and the rest. Maybe about a metre's difference in it. The winning time, well, it doesn't matter a hoot. Who cares that it wasn't under 10 seconds? It was brilliant running at the start. He got out of the block so well, put the others under pressure, and Dominiala has gold. And we talk about the Kenyans 
beat the long distance specialists. They dominate across country. They're great at steeplechase, 5,000, 10,000. This guy is from the other end of the distance spectrum. Akani Simbine takes the silver, 10.02 from Inyala. The South African, 10.13. I think a tinge of disappointment of those features. He was well beaten, but he does take the silver. And Yupun Abikun of Sri Lanka, a bronze medal, 1 100th behind Simbine, and that's a massive Ghana, the unlucky fourth place, again just two 100s down on bronze.